Well, hello everybody. Happy Tuesday, back from the long weekend. I've got this fantastic modern home behind me here, uh, just south of Wilshire in Beverly Hills. Here's the house. 1131 South Ridgely, a newer construction home that was built in 2008. It's pretty cool. And I realize that I'm a little bit of a snob when it comes to certain houses. I have a tendency to lean more towards looking at modern and contemporary homes. And that's kind of my vibe versus something that is a little bit more traditional like this and these homes that are here in this particular neighborhood. Now we are just south of the Beverly Center. Uh, here in Beverly Hills, which is a huge shopping mall, nowhere near the same type of malls, hey Jason, uh, that I am used to growing up in Minnesota, like the Mall of America, which is now gigantic. They just expanded it again, but a big mall nonetheless that's here in Beverly Hills. So I wanted to show us this home and have you uh, share with me a little bit about your thoughts of what are you a snob for? Are you are you looking at a certain type of car, a certain type of food or restaurant, certain type of travel accommodations? A good friend of mine and former co-worker by the name of Ashley, Ashley, shout out to you, told me that she loves to fly first class and almost thinks about not traveling if she can't fly something that is a touch more luxurious. So as we walk through this home, understand that I'm a little bit of a snob for things that are modern and I'm particularly a snob because this property is really, really inexpensive compared to many properties that are here in the Beverly Hills area. The price per square foot is only $570 per square foot, which is really cheap and I think we'll see why based on it is in a southern location compared to some of all of the other spots. So let's walk through. There's a cool uh, carport directly behind us and garage as we start to take a peek at this home. So. Let's get underway. Here we go. So you've got, as you can see, this whole front entranceway that's pretty private, little gated area that's open today for this uh, open house. And then you've got this long driveway where you can park off street, which is great. Now the home itself is a three bed, four bath, 4,100 square foot home and is selling for right around 2.38, 2.39 million. So again, most homes with an average price, hey Jeremy, uh, in Beverly Hills are about 3.4, so it's quite a bit less expensive. And here is one of the big reasons in that it has a little smaller backyard and has a no pool and has that transformer slash electrical in the background. So sometimes it's just the little things that can be a big shift, sometimes it's the big things. But this is a million dollars less than the average price point. So we've got this cool little upwards walkway from the back, little deck area, little patio, and uh, a decent sized garage with space above, either for storage or to be able to get built out. And then here you can see from the garage, this would be what we get to see as we take down the driveway. It's nice to be able to have a property at this price point at around two, three, two, four million that is gated and has some extra security features to it. Uh, and I think that we'll find that with new construction or newer, I should say it's already pushing nine years old, that this home is going to have some uh, pretty cool interior features. So let's take a peek. Front entryway, big front door. Hey, I'm back. Thank you. Hi. Hey, this is our listing agent. I'm sorry, you said Conrad, right? Conrad with Sherry Beanstalk's office with a listing agent. Thank you, Conrad. Right here. So Conrad can probably do a much better job than I can of telling. Yeah. You just follow me around. Fantastic. What's unique about this property is that the owners uh, have their own construction business. So they designed and built everything from the ground up themselves uh, back in 2008. We're looking at 4,200 square feet here, three bedrooms and four baths. Um, porcelain on the floors. Not only does it make the place look sexy and modern and hip and cool, but also keeps it nice and cold. Absolutely. Cool and we're, we're in a, a particularly hot seasonal time right now where Absolutely. we're pushing like 90, 95 plus degrees. 112 degrees the other day. Right. So. Uh, what they did is they really didn't cheap out on a lot of the materials. You'll see a house that's two or three million dollars, but the building quality isn't really done very well. Here, for example, all of the doors and all of the wood and the staircase and the banisters are solid in Brazilian mahogany. This is a very, very heavy door. The handles, for example, are very, very well done. If you just want to maybe do a shot of 
how perfect and flawless the floor is. The ceilings are 10 feet high ceilings. We have a 7.1 surround sound Bang & Olufsen uh, speakers throughout the entire home. This is the media room, uh, as you come in off to the right here. Oh yeah, great speaker system. Mm -hmm. Bang & Olufsen is one of the top designers of speakers and sound systems. Open concept, obviously. And they had lived here prior? Or uh, they've owned the property and they currently reside here as well. And again, they've designed everything themselves. A marble floor to ceiling. Oh yeah, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. His and hers office space uh, here. It's dual units uh, set up if you wanted to get some privacy. So that oh, sure. That's actually quite heavy. These doors are really very, very solid. Appliances. Um, you've got two sinks, two stainless steel sinks, and two uh, Morgay designed um, dishwashers. So if you're doing entertaining, that really kind of comes in handy. Uh, you've got the wine fridge right there. And you can see from the kitchen, you've got a really open floor plan. So as, yes. Conrad, as Conrad had mentioned for entertaining purposes, it's a great space. It's great space, great lighting. And you're also very enclosed in this area. When we get outside and show you the, the, the hedges, uh, give it a very enclosure feel. Yeah. Uh, the double pane windows, you don't hear a single thing. Um, yeah, that's a good point. A lot of time when you're in areas where you might have some through traffic, you'll hear some noise and we don't hear anything on the inside. Exactly. And we did, we did take a peek outside, so we'll pop upstairs. Just to let you know, that is a two car garage and above it currently is a storage facility. It measures about 660 square feet. It is permitted to be converted into a guest house. So if someone wanted to live there and have a kitchen and a bathroom and all that stuff, it is, it is ready to go. Another great point is that they got in right before the HBOZ rules ah, changed. Right, so, uh, which was a, a huge point. The uh, lot area compared to square footage, which was allowable, is uh, shifted. And so they were able to get a little bit more bang for their buck here. Hey, Lords. Mm -hmm. Hey, Justin, how's it going? The Brazilian mahogany on the, on the staircase here. Many of the windows that you see have been frosted to give you the additional privacy so you can kind of walk around here however you sure. like. <laughs> cool. I love the uh, railing system here. Yeah. And again, not only was it done very well, they, they really maintained it. They're, she's very meticulous about keeping things up, you know, scratching things. Yeah. Things at all, and again, really the, the sort of the, the fit and the finish is what I like. It. I mean, for example, this banister is just so very well done. Yep. Yeah, great wide space too. Very easy to move in and out would be my assumption. It's a great flow. Yeah. And good natural light. Or just take a quick, a quick peek out oh, yeah. the, uh, the window there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So as Conrad was mentioning, that uh, extra frosting. Hey, Paris. Um, does work great. You want us to start this way or this way? Oh, this way. This is the, uh, the master bedroom off to the left. Oh, always one of the most fun rooms in the house. Huge. Enormous. So yeah, again, taller ceilings on the upper level, ceiling fan, great space, uh, hardwood floors, wide plank. Look at the closet. <laughs> oh yeah. This is uh, about the size of my first uh, apartment. <laughs> right. <laughs> and again, she designed all that herself. The cabinetry, the handles, how everything would go. Great for you know organization and functionality, and this is this is huge. Yeah. Yeah, great space. Mm -hmm. Do a quick view here just to kind of give people who might not be familiar with Los Angeles exactly where we are. Yeah. Straight shot that way is UCLA. If you can see the the condominium buildings that are coming up past that palm tree there, yep. that's the Wilshire Corridor area. So that's Wilshire Boulevard and Westwood Village in UCLA. And coming through here is the Hollywood section. And you can actually, if we were to go outside, you can see the Hollywood sign right over here. Oh, that's so funny. Pretty, pretty amazing. Yeah. You can see, so this is north facing as well because you can see the Hollywood Hills right behind where Conrad was referring to. Very close to LAX, right off the 10 freeway. Uh, we're three blocks away from the nearest grocery store at Wilshire and Hauser. Oh, this uh, is great space. You can walk to a lot of things in the neighborhood here. And there's the Hollywood sign 
right there. Oh yeah. We're a short drive away from the world famous uh, farmers market and the Grove shopping center. Uh, Beverly Center is also a short drive. Beverly Hills. We're five miles away from downtown Los Angeles. We're in the other direction. So we're, we're pretty much in the center of, uh, of the action here. Bathroom here. Again, I mean, just flawless. His and her shower heads uh, with the raindrop feature from the center shower head. We have the jacuzzi tub with the jets. Yeah, what a great space. Mm -hmm. Laundry room is here on the second level as well. The washer dryer was just purchased uh, less than three months ago. And again, you can see the view out there, the hills, and great lighting, great white space. Two back bedrooms here that are both identical, not only in layout, but in size. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, the bathroom, both bathrooms are, uh, are the same. The tiles is just, are just different. Sure. So you've got a steam shower in there for a full bath. So you've got uh, three bedrooms that are all en suite, which is also a really nice feature. So either for guests or for your uh, family or extended family, View of the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Five climate controls throughout the entire property. Five separate climate controls. So, uh, mother-in-law's coming and she's staying and she's cold in here, but you're hot downstairs. That's uh, that's not an issue. So. Another balcony here. So both front and back. Again, the high hedges uh, give the privacy, and they, they fought with the city for over a year to get this uh, metal gate installed. Oh, wow. So you, you have to get buzzed in um, through that door, which is solid metal, and then we have it open for today, obviously, so people can pull up, but that gate, so a lot of, a lot of privacy. Sure. A lot of privacy. And there was an extra, there's a security system within the house yes. as well? Okay. Absolutely. Great. Neighbors. A couple of CEOs that live on the block, the CEO of uh, Gucci uh, that's on the block just down the street. Sure. So the same layout, the gold was the tile that was used for that ba uh, bathroom. This has got the, like the, the blue. Sure. It's very vibrant. And as Conrad has mentioned, you can see it's just kind of a mirror image of the other one, just with different coloring of the tile. I've kind of said this a lot, but they really took the time, like the handles, the doorknobs, the, the doors, everything's a very top quality. Everything's very, very solid. There's so much of Los Angeles is people want to flip a house or get into development and do something and they use like Ikea quality stuff and the doors are wonky or the shower heads are goofy. This is not the case here. I mean, these doors are very heavy to very, very, very solid materials. Yeah, that's a great point. And craftsmanship. And, even the angles of how they did all the, the floorboards and the beams. And someone really took the time to um, make sure that it was done really right. Yeah, that's the, the sign of a good contractor. Exactly, especially at this price point, too. I mean, for example, uh, you know, a little thing like the filtration system throughout the entire home. These are metal grates behind here that you simply pop out and then just wash as opposed to those flimsy paper ones that you have to change every season, so things of that nature. Yeah. Yeah, what Conrad's touching on, these are huge, huge points. Uh, and Jeremy, thanks uh, for uh, sharing that as a builder as well. Um, you can attest to this, and anyone else that is kind of tuning in, that 
when you see that extra level of finish, that is the difference oftentimes in a sale or not to sale or a, a higher price per square foot than you would see in one property or the other because of those levels of finishes. So all the things that Conrad had just pointed out are really applicable to the sale of a quality home versus one that is you know, maybe a B minus, C plus or worse. And the features in this home, for something to be a little bit more of a modern style home, there are some really nice touches that make rooms pop. Like as you can see with this fireplace, as we saw with the custom colors in the kitchen, as we saw with the tiles upstairs in the um, symmetrical bathrooms. All of these little features are what make a home pop and make it memorable. Conrad, anything else that's worth sharing for us? Uh, no, it's available and ready to go. I mean, it's turnkey. So um, if you want any ad additional information on this property, I will include uh, the address below. Feel free to connect anytime. I'm going to pass this along to a couple of clients that I had mentioned to Conrad that are from out of state. And as always, thanks for tuning in. Have a great rest of the day. I will connect with you soon. Bye-bye.